We've been fighting so long. Against each other. With each other. It's hard to keep track. The training. The tournaments. The rivalries. The lessons. It hasn't always been smooth. But after all this time, we've built something. Together. To be proud of. So let me ask you, do you have one more fight left in you? Greetings, everyone. It is time for another Buster Wolf podcast. Uh, we're talking about Evo 2023, the hype event, hype reveals, hype wins, all that good jazz. Sponsored by Chipotle, by the way, because I mean, you gotta have your Chipotle one way or the other. So, my name is Renegade Operative. I am the host of the IS podcast, and I like to introduce Brendan. Hello, everyone. I'm here again, and let's get hyped for Evo. Next up is Red Rat. If you're ready to talk about Evo 2023, make some noise! Alright, that was pretty good. Actually, I like that one. So we have Hades returning back once again for this podcast. I'm here, as always. Next up, we have Drill. Oh, wait. <laughs> we'll move on to uh, Kaneki. Uh, so that Karen cough after Evo ended. Great time, great time. Next up, we have Nikki, who is very special in particular for this event because she actually went to Evo and she has experience there. As Did we you talk- get the Karen cough? Oh. Yeah, right. Evo 2023 Chipotle Fork Fest. Woo! Oh, that just sounds utterly... All right. Looks like she didn't get the Karen cough. Completely off. All right. I think I... <laughs> Last but not least, did we get uh, Mr. Brandle? Yes, you did. Okay. Yes, you did. Okay, so I'm on board there. So we're going to go right to the first question, uh, which was very hype. Uh, Mortal Kombat 1, they showed the trailer for Reptile, Havoc, and Ashra. What did you think of the Banished trailer and these characters in full? Not to mention the Serena little cameo where she turned into a demon. I was like, what the fuck is that? That's great. So what do you think of this question? Who wants to go first? Uh, I think I'll go first. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, honestly, I'm happy for Reptile in particular, uh, because he doesn't seem like a jobber anymore. And more than important, like he's human again. I got what I wanted. Human Reptile was still peak design for me, honestly. Was never to fend off, ironically, the Reptile side of Reptile. But the fact that he could transform into a giant lizard monster, like Kurt Karak, like, yeah, yeah, that's the best of both worlds. I'm, I'm happy for it. But the, the showstopper for me, though, is definitely on Mashra. She has a completely different design, and they still took aspects of, her, of the um, demon um, backgrounds she had in um, the original timeline. So I, I'm definitely um, looking forward to playing as her. Hopefully uh, her buttons are good. And Havoc got an interesting change, because um, he is definitely different from the original timeline of um, Mortal Kombat. Instead of um, just being a dude that can break his body to different pieces, he can now regenerate any limb now, which is interesting. 
but uh, it's a welcome change. It still fits his character. He's still crazy, chaotic. So I like it. But yeah, still... aside from that, hmm? I was gonna say he still breaks himself pretty well because if you watch his um the crushing blow or whatever the hell it is from the trailer, yeah. yeah, where he just Break like pummels pummels his arms out of existence, beating you up, yeah, yeah. So like, you know, I, I welcome the changes for Havoc and Flipper. It still fits the character, but it's definitely different since he can regenerate any limb now or whatever. So yeah, I welcome it. Hmm, who wants to go next? I'll take the floor with a uh, reptile being the most hype thing. People were debating for a long time if we were going to get um lizard or human or like the kind of hybridization they used to do, but we got both, so that's good. I do feel kind of bad for him though cuz like the whole OG timeline of reptile, he was trying to resurrect his people and uh now that he has them back in this timeline, they all don't like him cuz he has a human form. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Got to find a way yeah. to hate him. Yeah, my my poor man cannot catch a fucking break at any timeline, but it looks like he's a hero this time out, so that's nice. No, he's hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I was gonna say he was hot before, but okay, let's move on. Whoa! Uh, all right. Well <laughs> then, we got some lizard action on the podcast. You've uh, seen my model, anyway. I have. Ash, I, I kind of miss that uh, Asher doesn't have her hat, but I've seen it in like cutscenes in other places. So hopefully it's going to still be there come full game. You gotta pay up. And uh, Havoc is cool like always. I'm I'm glad he made it back. I kind of hope he has a similar fatality to like what he had, and I think it was okay. um, Deception, where he like devours your arms and head basically. But now that we have Havoc, we need Hotaru now, just to be the the order opposite of him. But yeah, all pretty good. That's probably the best trailer they've done so far, to be honest. Ooh, okay. I'm... Was... Oh, what? I don't know. I would say, like, I would say it's probably the third best, honestly. But yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, Ray. Okay, so this trailer has devolved into literally every single person wants to have sex with a lizard. Uh, I've seen the reaction to him, and people just really like his face so they just need to go to horny jail uh that aside i lock did me up. <laughs> lock him up lock and throw him up. i mean that's how <laughs> cute, but he's not you know i mean reptile just looks like every other guy i've seen at the club back in back in the early 2000s they all so. want to have sex <laughs> with him it's crazy but it's like yeah, they can have reptile just... i have my man so they're you know every ninja's hot and then there's ermac <laughs> exactly all the ninjas are hot this time it's great Great for me. Except Air Mac. He's like a living <laughs> corpse. We called him Great Cone yeah. on the podcast last time. So there was that. that was his name, I swear to God. But uh, outside of that, he's one of my mains from MKX and MK9. I, I thought he was a very interesting character. Uh, now he's coming back. I, I like the whole morphing from lizard to human while he fights. That's going to lead to some very interesting combos. Um... I also like the fact that he could uh, not only do that, but he just has some very sick, like, fatalities. And, of course, uh, the little x-ray move that he could do where he, like, just swallows the person. Uh, I thought that was very interesting because that's what Reptile likes to do. As for Ashra, I, I thought she was fine for what it was. Some people say I, I just missed the hat, but I kind of like the fact that now you can sort of tell it's this whole angelic demonic thing going on and originally she was a demon so uh there was that and of course uh, her moves look sick as well and as for havoc i i really liked the fact that havoc can contort his body and also take his arm regenerate it take his arm off and proceed to beat the unholy god out of his opponent it's 100% fascinating. I love it. I, I, I thought he was like, he had weapons in his arms at first when he was like punching the person in the face, but I realized that was like just his bones constantly punching into that person's eye sockets and that's really painful. I kind of want to see how he functions in gameplay when he does all these moves because Ed Boon likes to do like buffs to the characters when they do certain things. So I'm thinking, oh, he breaks his neck. Is he going to get, like, a buff? Is that going to be a damage buff? I have no idea. Uh, but I, I thought this was a very entertaining trailer. Uh, I really enjoyed it. And 
and uh, it just makes me look forward to the game even more. I know Rat Rat's answer is going to be kind of interesting when he does this because he was saying Serena should be like a full character. I still stand by that, actually. Yeah, I figured because as to much. Me, to me, Serena was the most exciting part about that trailer as we were watching it live because like, what's that? Wait. Wait, what's, what's this? What's the devil thing? Can she? Yeah, you wait, she's, for her form. she's doing that? What? <laughs> what? There's it, something it, I wanted to bring right. up about Serena, also. So uh, apparently, right. oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was saying, like, real quick right, though, like, I agree with Red, but unfortunately, though, since Quan, she's not part of the story, at least allegedly right now, I don't think Serena will work. I, I, think I think she'll make a later combat pack because her design is a little bit too elaborate to just be a cameo. I was I was just gonna say that yeah, her design is different and kind of like more um, what's the word like more different than ironic, what it was before. So more it looks like demonic, too, more but she looks like more elaborate. Yeah, ironically, people said that for Baraka in MKX, but that didn't happen. I think Serena's 11. design is more in line with how she looked in Mortal Kombat X. Like, she looked like she stepped out of X's story mode. Hmm. But no, I am, I am immediately beginning the campaign to get Serena for Combat Pack 2, because the idea that she could switch between her human self and have a more devilish moveset on the fly, it's too good of an idea to leave to cameos. Hmm. Yeah, and the fact that she has noob cybot uh, sickles too, so that can be part of her move set. You have to beat out three guest characters, though. Unfortunately, <laughs> Ew, that's uh, well. I, I I would say you know I'm not even gonna say it. I would say leak, but you know how it usually goes with Mortal Kombat leaks. I just keep my mouth shut. Uh, um, I I they they put out the the DLC pack, or is there like a well pack two leak? I'm not aware of. There's a pack two leak. I'll neither. Oh. Uh, and it revealed a lot of characters coming on board with it. I is, is Serena one of them? Maybe that's all I'm saying. Maybe she's one of them. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up and not say. You keep that a little quiet. Uh, I I remember some of the characters, and one of them got me excited. I can't. I hope it's not a zoner though, because good lord, we didn't need that again. Oh, I know exactly who you're talking about. Just a lot of so. Dumb. I will say the same thing about that. And am I recording this? Hmm. Leak. Leak. For combat pack two that I said for combat pack one. I'll believe it when I see it. You know, the only issue is that since hmm. Mortal Kombat leaks are just at this point 100% True. spot on because yeah. e everyone from the first initial leak of the whole roster has shown up to some capacity. I was absolutely amazed by that i'm like well there's reptile i knew he was like supposed to be in there considering the leak and now he's like showing up so uh it's one of those things that just gets spoiled every time except for ash but we we know what happened with that he was supposed to come mm. but he, he he couldn't make it. they fumbled the rights they fumbled I think they I have a theory up. here that it's less about the leaks being credible and more about that Mortal Kombat lives in such an insane world of fighting game possibility that no one seems to doubt the legitimacy of these leaked rosters. Oh, absolutely Cause, not. Because they seem real. They seem mm -hmm. possible. There's, it's just the realm of credibility and also thinking uh, what is like just plausible and what isn't. And so far, well, you see people clamoring for Natara, which I think when was it? It's more so when was the MK leak false? I don't even remember. To be honest, that's like you, you know, remember. there's so many of them that they're a board majority are probably false, but still. Well, like, remember what? Huh? Oh, uh, look for. Are you go? Uh, I was like, you're right though. I can't think of a time that uh, MK leak was actually fake. In a long, long time. A lot of the MK versus DC DLC characters didn't end up becoming real due to reasons. Because a lot of that was leaked. It was like Harley Quinn. It was like Quan Chi. It was like Reptile. It was like Lobo. Never happened. Well, wasn't that the, the last Midway game? Or was... It was. Yeah, they mm -hmm. died, so it just couldn't happen, I'm sure. 
<laughs> right in the grief, along Try with... Trying not to say anything about Combat Pack 2. Right in the grave, along with Dark Con. All right. Uh, also, I'm oh, sorry to interrupt. Before you, before you go, uh, I would like to say, uh, remember people was doubting on the whole MK1 title when it was first leaked? You mean when it was called MK12? Yeah. Then in instead, it was going to be called MK1. I think that was like, yeah, that was a little bit after the fact. Like, honestly, that's how we found out about MK12 in the first place, because I remember there was like a screenshot of someone's computer from NRF. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, Echo. Uh, but when I saw it, I was like, OK, now we have confirmation. Then there was uh, David's ass off and his infinite wisdom because he yeah, just said and the conference call Mortal Kombat 12 is coming this year. So I'm like, well, that is a little bit suspect and then it's mk1 so that happened it just felt like a culmination of things before it actually got announced uh let's real here man like nrs hasn't that been good with naming <laughs> i you know because they, the, they had the reboot and they have x which means 10 and they had 11 so i'm like and they go back to one like come on dog really i i don't like <laughs> that either i'm just kind of like okay mk1 are we talking about the new one or the original one from 1993 which which one is yeah I mean, and then you can say mortal Kombat. yeah then you can say which one it's about 1992 or the, um 2011 one right that's how it's like uh, with mortal Kombat 9 we're like do we call it mortal Kombat 9 do we call it mortal Kombat 11 do we call it 2011 do we call it oh see we call it uh nine and the developers themselves practically call it nine if it's so it's borderline like, official to call it, nine. Yeah, not gonna call, call it nine. Called mk9 yeah yeah, but it's funny to think, like, because they just called Mortal Kombat on the package, right? And then you yeah. have mm -hmm. the original game, 92, and now you have MK1, so you go say, which one? You talk about it's like it rebooted one? again. Oh. Like, again, yeah. the casual's gonna call, still going to call it MK, and like, which MK? 2011? Right, it's like, like, which one? Oh, the newest yes. one. Okay, well, you know. I'll keep it simple. That's just an unfortunate, like, trend I've seen in It's like the Xbox yeah. naming. Yeah. Xbox One? Like, what? Mm -hmm. God of War? I'll keep yeah, it simple. Man. I I miss my War, subtitles. Medal of Honor, pretty much Sonic all these the random series. This Halloween 2018. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, it's Halloween, Jesus. I guess at a point, just like the more numbers you have, the more pointless it gets. So they just try to start fresh again. But yeah, it's when is Street Fighter? What title is this? When nope. we're gonna get Street Fighter 2030? 20... Street Fighter 20. What was the game? 2022 or whatever. 2010. We don't speak of that game. No, yeah, oh, Jesus. We're way past Man, late time right now. Man, we missed that. That was a wild time in life. We don't speak yeah, I got it. In a way, wait, what are you talking about? Street Fighter 2010 or Super Street Fighter 4? Because that came out in 2010. Jesus uh, the Christ. The one where Ken is a commando that shoots lasers out of his hands. You can't you... see my finger right now. I'm giving you the finger for making that horrible joke. Yes, Ryan. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. If if, all, if only that was a costume in Street Fighter 4. No! Uh, they should have. <laughs> you know what they should do with um, Street Fighter 6 is, since Mortal Kombat brought back a, like, uh, Robin Show and um, uh, Kari Hiroyuki Tagawa, they should do, like, um, Jean-Claude Van Damme Guile. And, like, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, okay. no. I'm, notes, Tammy, I'm good. Yes, let's go. Come on. Jesus, no. We're sorry. Right in Capcom <laughs> right now. He's already in Mortal Kombat. When Chun Li get in. He's already in Mortal Kombat. Oh, yeah, he just... would make two games. Holy shit, that's right. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's a skin in MK1. But I, I mean, it's all exciting. Uh, they just need to have a better naming convention going forward. Hopefully, subtitles. Uh, but I, I really did like this trailer for what it was. Speaking of Street Fighter, I guess we're gonna move on to the next question. Uh, are you guys all done for MK? Yeah, I'm yeah, done. I'm good. Okay, so uh, Street Fighter Six showed off a little bit of Aki, who basically seems like a female Fong. We've made jokes about her giving that guy, well, your avatar, the Bill Cosby. Uh, what do you think of her look and potential fighting style? No, drug money. Let's go. Uh, let this be the new Fong, please. She can stay for a few more yeah, games. She's actually a lot more interesting than the actual Fong we got. Right. Um, mm, yeah. Yep. Man, she I'm is. the only one that really liked Fong here. Shit. Yeah, you are. You like the weird ones. <laughs> and not, I mean, I mean, now you get a waifu version of Fong. Wait, so you wait, you her. guys, you guys didn't like Chinese Judge Doom? <laughs> no. What the hell? Okay. 
he's i mean i never used him he didn't appeal to me in terms of looks he just has his weird like noodle head so i kind of <laughs> enjoy beating him up but this is very interesting i, I kind of like the poisonous claws she has as well so i'm thinking to myself like how is that going to factor when she does like some of her moves and and i guess it's going to be like damage over time when she scratches someone which is going to be like kind of cool because then it's like her pressure game is going to be very strong if done right uh but they did not show a whole lot it just gave you enough to see what the possibilities was uh so i'm morbidly curious if she turns out to be a rushdown character i would be even more curious uh but it remains to be seen i definitely think it's going to be a mix of rushdown and then maybe lobbing poison at people because female fong that's what fong did throw poison at you so i expect that to happen he could fly too <laughs> yes i i don't know if she's gonna be flying around like a fucking bird but i mean hey if she could do it more stylish i won't mind it was she also gonna do like contortionist stuff too like like fong was able to do i, I hope so hmm. sick she well from what i heard she is a protege of his correct Mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm assuming maybe she has that ability and plus i mean the trailer was already kind of creepy with her doing some body stuff anyway a little bit and you know talking to the character subtly so yeah, i like think how she was like bending over like that and yeah so i mm -hmm. i think there's going to be a little bit of that in her play style she's gonna play weird but i don't mind it i don't mind it at all she looks good what does uh everyone I mean, else i think? hope she's unique enough i'm sorry oh go ahead yeah, I hope she's, like, unique enough and not, like, oh, just literally a female Fong. Like, she, you know, it kind of has her own fighting style, but also kind of like what Fong showed her, but, like, her own flair on it. The, the one thing that I was um, wondering about her claws, like, how she's going to utilize them in, in battle. When I played Dynasty Warriors 8, there was a character named Zhang Shunhua, and uh, she, had, she had a weapon similar to what Aki has. Like, with claws, she had... Um, like wire she was able to trap um her opponents and slash them up and everything so maybe uh aki would be similar to uh to that as well as creating poison traps creating traps um diving on or being able to uh, crawl under uh, fireballs oh man things like that I... I think she's gonna be a problem for a couple weeks or so but once everybody figures her out like you know well, let's have it not be a situation just like Rashid because uh, I don't think we bought <laughs> I don't think we brought it up that he was bugged when he came out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, once he left them, nobody played him anymore. I didn't even see him at Evo once. The thing you don't remember is that bug, that bug was good for all of six hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. I just saw people get like chipped out tornado and they just simply could not do anything. It was funny. That's why I think many people said, I'm, I'm just not playing this until they fix them. And lo and behold, they came. So I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. It's kind of ridiculous too. Cause like, it, if, 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 let's say if the tornado disappears, he could do like a, was it a um, drive impact or whatever to knock against the wall and it's GG's from there. Jesus fucking mm -hmm. Christ. <laughs> you know what? Speaking of Rashid, has anyone played him at all on this podcast yes i played against him how was that sorry kicked the shit out of him yeah that's that's kind of what i did as well like i fought one online like most of the ones i'm fighting online i have completely owned it's mostly of course hey, yeah it's mostly of course anyone that's gold and platinum i struggle with but if it's like even some goals i beat so i'm like i was not sure what was going on there oh I'll put this into the perspective. Uh, he is the second annoying, the most annoying thing to fight when you're in like high, high, high rank with Ken. He and Ken are like, oof, good luck. Oh, the top fives. Good luck. That's definitely good. the top fives. I saw that list and I'm like, I'm not surprised. Ken is top dog and he's still top dog. He won Evo. He won <laughs> Evo. Yeah. Huh? And that, you know what I'm that means. JP didn't win. I hate JP. There wasn't even a JP in the top five. Actually, really uh, that that Gamers A tournament that's going on right now, Kakairu, who's a JP, uh, a Japanese JP main. He completely... was the he was the JP because he was he's the JP that got the farthest in Evo. Kakairu, he did. Yeah, mm -hmm. 
and he uh he beat Angry Bird Grand Finals of Gamers Day. It's pretty crazy to watch. Hold on. In reality, where JP won Evo. Hold on. What? <laughs> Who was the Ken fighting that won Evo? Was it Luke or am I crazy? What Evo? This one? Which yeah, one? This, the, this one. You this mean one. in the Grand Finals? Yeah. Yeah, Ken won. It was uh, Luke and Blanca. Oh, okay. wait, Luke and Blanca? Yeah, Mena uh, was Luke. Yeah, Mena plays Luke them. and Blanca now. Yeah, because I was, I was, it was so much going on in this tournament. I was just like, but I know Ken's gonna get the nerf hammer eventually, so enjoy it while it lasts. You mm -hmm. say that. Oh, come on, Rat. You're killing my hopes and dreams, man. Yeah, quite frankly, I think they should focus on other characters and making them stronger rather than, like, yeah. say, nerfing Ken. Buff because, the other like, the characters problem... first. Yeah, because the problem is, like, the other characters are just, you know, necessarily weak. It's just, like, they don't have enough options to compete with the other characters. Look, just focus on them you, you can... Make a nerf hammer. You, you, you can make a buff and nerf Ballage patch at the same time. It's It can happen. Uh, I know you have to make Lily a little bit stronger because she's kind of weak a right now, like like a lot of it. But you could also get rid. Of, look, if you delete JP from the game, I I personally would thank you. I I would go to your house <laughs> and I will fuck your wife. I would be like you're super <laughs> thrilled about that. Okay. Hello, you don't like um zoning? You like interact zoning? Is she where? Here's JP. This will really ruin your day. Yeah. We oh. had that once upon a time. It was called Sagat. Uh, I want vanilla Sagat back, please. Super Turbo Sagat. <laughs> yeah. but, no, Champion Edition Sagat, okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, then oh, well, Sagat's easy once you figure it out. Like, Ooh. you know. All right, then play Street Fighter 1 and 2. So is JP. Ugh. I don't have any JP experience, unfortunately. Yeah. So the first time he comes up and ranked, I'm screaming and calling my mom. Yeah, I, I am good friends with a Guile player that says a JP to him is a free meal. Ugh. A free what? A free meal. So that means he's hungry for 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 more. What that more. means? Oh, a meal. Yes. Oh it, yeah. e eating eating the character alive and the person. Yeah, Rat, yeah. speak up next time. Next time. Oh no, no, it, he's fine. I'm just stupid. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just fine. It's all relative. Because Guile versus JP is heavily in Guile's favor. Oh, that makes Ew. sense. I don't like Guile either. Though. Uh, most of Kazan's game. Brand, you don't like, like but... almost half the roster. Yeah, half the that's... roster from the what the War World Warriors. Yes, that like is like E Honda. I I am a prime hater of E Honda. Uh, <laughs> but that's that's besides the point. Fuck Honda, by the way. Fuck Honda, Get him, by the way. No, fuck him. <laughs> fuck him. I, the, the, this is the most fun Honda's ever been in a Street Fighter. I gotta be honest. I love Because he's Honda. broken, yes. Uh, I, love, I, love, I, love. Uh, I wouldn't say so. Not the worst character in the game, but not as good as people said before. Oh. It's in, it's as long as I don't ever see Lily again, I'm happy. It, it's Why, been interesting to what? watch really like, how the meta shakes down. You know? I've been watching Honda slowly slide down pro player tier list, and I'm like, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. How many of these you fought? I need, I need to fight them. There's uh, the lilies I fought sucks. There's good ones and and there's bad ones. I, I fought. If you just drive reversal her like fucking ex Condor Spire, she can't do anything. You don't need she to do it in your face. Yeah. You just get off. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, speaking of which, since I see turtle, uh, there's so, a. What? So can I set something oh. real quick about Aki since since she, while she's still a topic on everyone's mind? Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're not going to see much of her poison unless she does a level two super. Because most of the themes around buffs and power ups, Guile, Blanca, they're centered around a level two super. I think the same thing is going to be with Aki. She's going to have a limited time to do chip damage, except the chip damage is going to be damage over time. Think uh, one of Devorah's MKX variations, where if oh, Aki, uses, Aki uses certain normals with her claws and they hit, you take poison damage. Why does that remind me of like Jury's uh, Feng Shui engine? And if you're hitting the person, it's like, well, well for her, it's, it's a little bit different. But if you're hitting the person, you just do more damage if you're near them or something like that. Yeah. Uh, so, I, I, I mean, I kind of like that idea. It seems awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, you yeah, can waste it. That's and, my theory. And you can get countered, too, if you don't, if you aren't careful enough. So, I, I do like that. What if she has a level three that has a permanent poison? 
like Kim. I'm like going to cry. Stall super, basically. I'm gonna fucking yeah. cry because you know how people like to do wake up super. I hate it. Oh god. Mm-hmm. So I already see it coming as soon as uh people do it, but hey, as long as you can jump over it, I'd be fine. Or block All right, it. Let me... All right, let me fight you with Kent next time. Oh fuck you. All right, so. We're moving on to the turtle collab, which everyone has seen. So uh, the infamous meme of fifteen dollars per turtle for Ninja Turtles. It was pretty hype at first, but then that price. What do you guys My think of it? My fighter coins. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so I didn't know what the conversion was for the um, fighter coins, or whatever. But when I found out, I think it's from you guys. The um, actual like you no know, prices for those things. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. I ain't paying hundred dollars for the turtles, dog. They ain't worth it. Wait, they're a hundred dollars? Yeah, I think like total or whatever, like a hundred dollars. Oh, you want if you want? Yeah, I think we did like sixteen times version. four. Yeah, so. yeah, just around a hundred dollars for all four, mm -hmm. and that's not including the other items you can buy. Capcom? Yeah. Are are you smoking some premium car? I don't think this one's Capcom this time, though, because remember they're a licensed um product, so I imagine like I hope um, I hope not because uh Nickelodeon imagine. I hope yeah. not, because imagine the outcry if uh, if that jury uh, pajama costume is like twenty bucks. Hmm. Yeah, see, like, if the next costumes are literally like twenty bucks a piece for um the other characters, then yeah, at that point is definitely we could definitely point your finger at Capcom a little bit. Mm -hmm. But so also gonna... to like these characters are licensed, like from Viacom or Nickelodeon, so like I yeah. imagine that play a factor in the price. I was gonna, s I'm, I'm, I'm kind of working on the theory that like. Because those are like a collab skin, that's why they're like fifteen bucks, which is kind of crazy. But I'm assuming that this normal costumes will only be like five bucks, like like usual. But who knows? Still got nothing on Call of Duty. How that much was that Nicki Minaj skin again? Wait, what? What? In fairness, though, that one skin bundle you get more than what you get out of um one turtle costume. I ain't, I ain't defending Activision here. I'm just saying, like you do get. Can't confirm. More can't confirm when buying the Shredder bundle. You get more than buying the Ninja Turtle skins here. All right. So from what I gather, it is a wait and see affair when they put out those premium skins, which I did see. I did see the uh, jury costume where she's in the pajamas. If Capcom does charge out the butt for it, then lo and behold, it was right. It was them all along. But can I we talk about that see. skin real quick? Uh, the one? pajama one which for one? jury? Is Capcom allergic to giving jury footwear? Yes. No. I mean, I'm she's in Taekwondo. That it would absolutely come in handy and fit the outfit, and you don't do it. How long is the foot finish? Give though? her slippers. <laughs> you know they're right yeah. there. You want to know what's really weird is that, like, in Street Fighter Five, they gave her a, that fucking swimsuit outfit, and she was just wearing big leather boots for some reason. I'm like, this is right? not swimwear. What the fuck? <laughs> But now, now we can't even fucking footy pajamas without the foot part. That's a little bit weird Gorm to me. But then again, gormless, <laughs> gormless behavior. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can find these costumes because I know it was more, but it yeah, remains. I, like, I, went well, in I did I had it from Marissa though. She oh, married yeah. uh, Zangief and took him to bed like a cave woman. Yo, she she can care of me though, like for real. Let's <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. You are said. I said what I said. Degeneracy. The She's lucky. Hey, we all gotta take a turn with the horny bat. I already took mine. Now it's yeah. your guys' turn. She's lucky Armika's not into that and more maybe probably into her partner. Where <laughs> is she? Where is she in sex, Capcom? I'll buy Armika. Nah. Nah. Try never yeah. again. Trying to find it, uh, but damn, then to the censorship just like, we go. Just like Kyron in five, never again. Uh, I think Kyron has a more realistic chance of making it than Mika, to be honest. Unless Sakura's in it, then um, with yeah, yeah no, no Sakura. Get rid of. Well, I mean, you know... Sakura wasn't in five initially. Well, you know, yeah, initially. Well, I love it. She still made it in, though. Both of them were in the game together. You know, keep her, because that means that Drill's gonna pick her, and he's going to lose the entire time. So, you know what? Okay. I don't mind Leave that. Him alone. I don't mind that. I beat him ten times. I don't mind that. You're, you're good, Red? Come on, man. Leave no, him alone. No, I just he's not even here. Well, I mean, the Brandon... not defend himself. Brandon kind of felt the same way. He's so <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of evil there. Uh... <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, ridiculous. I I 
think I'm not paying obviously almost a hundred dollars to get all the turtles as hype as it was at first. I saw that price and I was just like, mm, I'll just wait until this goes on sale. That's how I feel about that. I will say the one thing that absolutely pisses me off about this collab the most is that they ruined the battle hub theme. Oh, what they turn into now? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh. Uh, that was typical. I knew they were going to do that. Yeah, imagine here and then. Yeah, imagine here and then. Is it not the same again. jazz anymore? No. No, it's I not. Mean, it can I be mean, on occasion. I mean, there is a way to uh, turn it off just by not by uh, switching it back to the Battle Hub default. You got to switch it to. You want so, like, playlist. even if I don't have the collaboration costumes, it still turns to the turtle? I, I, I haven't played Street Fighter still... 6 since Evo. The event is still happening, ergo. The, the event is not happening till October 1st, so you got like two months to hear that song in Battle Hall. Oof. Oh boy. I mean, I love the turtles, don't get me wrong. Hell yeah, we got the 87 series coming back to television next year. Oh. I'm all for it. Oh man, I grew up on that series. Oh shit, I just said how old I was. Oh what? <laughs> Oh, Grandma, oh, oh, what we got Archive going on that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, someone my age in this group, huh? Actually, that's a lie. I was born in 87. No. no. no I wasn't. Yeah. Here's, <laughs> so I was here's, watching it in the early here's, 90s. Here's is how you do a TMNT collection, uh, collaboration, right? Or should I say a better DLC practice, right? Uh, Shredder's Revenge, the recent DLC that's, gonna, that's coming out, it's free. Mm. Well, hey, it's like you drive yeah, a hard bargain. Isn't that the one with your song? Everything that you're getting from that Shredder, uh, that Shredder's Revenge DLC, all of it, all of it, it's free. Even the new characters. Checkmate. That's very surprising. That is. Because I figured that would have been like the Streets of Rage 4 expansion. Oh, absolutely. I, yeah. Where it absolutely would, co would cost you a little bit more if you want all those modes and new characters. That's that's what I initially thought at first, but then Survive posted, shout out to Survive, uh, posted an article that said, um, no, it's going to be free. I'm like, all right, bet. Time to reinstall it on Game Pass. But yeah, I just grabbed the Leonardo costume and I got out of there. I got Mikey. <laughs> Thank God the titles are free. <laughs> One turtle for $15, that's it. Is uh, the raft title cool but rude? <laughs> I do not know, actually. It should be if it's not. I I haven't I haven't touched SF6 since I won a little anime con tournament a few weeks back, so I haven't been on there. Nicely done. Nice. Okay, so we're moving on to the next question, uh, which is something that I did not expect, but it is alive again from Beyond the Grave, Frankenstein style. This is Killer Instinct. So there was a big announcement there saying they're going to update the game. Iron Galaxy is back for the 10th anniversary and they're going to do a balanced patch, improved matchmaking, and 4K Thank support God. for the series consoles for Xbox. How do you feel about this? Rumbleverse died so Killer Instinct could live again. Thank God they're fixing the matchmaking. So now the matchmaking will feel 10 times better. Small price to pay for salvation. I'll take it. Yeah. I also cause... thought Rumbleverse kind of sucked, to be honest. <laughs> I couldn't. I, I think the last time I played KI, it was a mess to even make it work. Because I was on PC, uh, and I think Kaneki was on Xbox, and we tried to make a match, and nothing happened. So. Oh, yeah, because she was on the Steam version. Yeah. If you're... Yeah, only Xbox uh, Windows version. Where uh, you could do that crossplay. I hope they fix that, but it's a large chance with this, and also the balancing. Uh, so, also, yeah. I'm sorry to cut you off. The online, uh, what is it? When I once bought it on Steam, when it was on sale, the on everything worked, but the online. So I had to refund that shit on Steam. I'm like, well, back to Xbox. This was really much needed uh, because the game in its current state now is basically very hard to play uh that's why i think when we yeah. suggested a tournament everyone was like let's just wait until the patch comes out because it'll be 10 times more better and now seeing the results of that i agree 
So anyone else on the balancing at least, do you expect to get nerf hammers, buff hammers? Someone no, say uh, eagle, yeah. eagle, but I, I I'm not too sure on that. Uh, I, I know I, very I, little about Ki's meta. I can't say. Yeah, me neither. Uh, it's is Rash good. <laughs> uh, yeah, Rash is very good. good. Yes, he is. I have a particular instinct since Super Nintendo, so I can buff him more. I'll be fine with it. I will say, as an Omen player, the only thing I ask is that you make it make more sense. I agree. No. I'm tired of playing RNG. I want Omen to make sense. I agree. A cosign. Uh, no, you're gonna deal with your Shingo Yabuki bullshit and like it. Yeah, but... yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I really hope uh, Shadow Jago stays the same. You know, a buffed or uh, OP and I'll buff him too, and make the slide reach even more. Uh, then again, though, that'd be way too much. So it is yeah, already Shadow Jago's the goat. It, this man no, is the I'm goat. Better. That's that's the one that I use a lot for Ki and, and uh, Gargos. I use him too. So I I think this is super exciting for the game. Obviously, it did lead people to say, "Oh, are they gonna since Iron Galaxy is like kind of not booked up that much anymore? Are they gonna do another one?" And I don't know. I can't read into the future. It remains to be seen. The only thing I know is that they're working on another unannounced game, and that's it. Uh, but Xbox kind of needs another fighter, so a Ki two would make sense. Bandai Namco presents. I remember that rumor, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. It, it just would feel wholly different if Bandai was the one doing Ki two, as opposed to a Japanese to... studio making Ki. What a timeline we would be in if it's if it was true. That'd be wild, and I will check it out. But I just don't know. Just don't turn it into a one button fighter, please. Just His Sako fans would be eating real good if Bamco did that. Oh, why you think I'm why you think I'm not picking up games like Grand Blue and the new Grand Blue and the uh, Project L? Oh, Project L is Project this? Low. <laughs> no. No motion inputs? We out. I mean, there is there is Project L discussion down the line, gentlemen. Yeah, there is. Uh I'm very interested to see opinions on that game, but we gotta move to Tekken, so uh we have a big surprise mr raven came back and it wasn't the master raven it was the normal one for tekken 5. And and that should have been training. the real master oh yeah i agree he, he came back from training all the training yeah. paid off apparently because jesus so that, that motherfucker got like a lot of shadow clones going on that's one thing i saw like what is does anyone know why like what even happens when they turn from purple to orange? Is that heat going on when he does that? Uh, yeah, I, honestly, I don't even know. It might just be visual effects. I have no idea. I I think it probably is uh, tied to the heat mechanic because I was like, why is now they're like even more aggressive than last time? So, well, see, the heat though is like a bluish color, not orange. I don't know, but it still could be different for the character. We just we just don't know, but. Uh, I mean, he looks nice. He looks cool for what he is. Uh, they they obviously brought back a lot of oh. old moves, new moves. So I let I'm me ask you a question, it. Ren. Yeah. If you look the stage he has real closely, have you noticed his stage? I I did. It's a version of uh, Jin stage from Tekken Six, yes. right? I've seen that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all destroyed and warped and ruined. So I I don't think it's gonna have any significant story context, but maybe it, there's gonna be something it, that goes on there. It is now Raven stage now. That <laughs> stage is one giant ass dimensional tear. I'm hoping for older Tekken stages to just be flying around in the rift. Like like remember remember the museum stage in I think Dead or Alive Five where you just fight on the sets that resemble older Dead or Alive stages. I want something like that in Tekken. This is as close as it's gonna get. It's, so like a tournament stage in MK11, maybe. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's Tekken so Retrocade. Yeah. Retrocade, yep. Mm -hmm. Retrocade. Uh, then there's a new character who I'm referring to as Coffee Girl because I, that's her main thing in. in <laughs> that's like her main gimmick. I hate coffee. Don't at me. <laughs> I don't like coffee either. It's disgusting. Her. You people are white. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> that's even funnier. 
but her main moves are just dodging all over the place apparently she has true ultra instinct because no one can hit her in her trailer because at all she's because she's been drinking a lot of coffee yeah yes. she's, she's like when uh philip j fry drank the 300 coffee yes yes <laughs> it's moved out what do you think her heat speeds. mode is <laughs> If she glows like Fry in that episode, that'd be fucking yes. tremendous. Yes, that's what the modding community's for. I'm just gonna, right, get on it. I'm just gonna play the Ultra Instinct music each time she moves and and dodges because that makes the most sense to me. <laughs> I I like her style; it's pretty cool, but it it's a little bit too defensive for me. But it probably will work for a lot of people. I think it's gonna lead to a lot of hype moments of people being punished in tournaments when she is playable. Uh, so I expect shenanigans as soon as bobbing the next and weaving. bobbing and weaving as soon as people play. Did they her. say what her move set was? Um, outside of what we saw, no. But mm. we we are just assuming that she's very counter punish. Right. Well, there's one thing I also wanted to bring up about Evo. So supposedly, uh, I don't know if this was at Evo or if this was at like a pre Evo event. But supposedly they were showing a build of Tekken 8 on on like a, on a little TV and mm. someone had either snuck into the um into the event or someone who was already there oh, whipped out leak? his phone. I'm sorry. Is, is it a leak? It was a leak. Yeah, but I'm not going to say who it was, but apparently. Oh. Hold on, hold on. They just uh, describe her as an MMA fighter. I don't know if she has a particular style or not. Everyone was just like one. Well, she has moves from um like okay. Let me anyway, I'm sorry. Out, Where was I? And um, you know, Joseph Cell. Everyone's just pissing Harada off. I that man is the yeah yeah. So that's what happened with um with Harada was that supposedly someone had taken their phone out and zoomed in on pictures that were that was seen on that little TV, and the idiot didn't even turn his shutter off. So apparently, when he took the picture. It made a sound throughout the whole room, and then he, then the person went and put those pictures of the leak Tekken Eight roster and this and this character who I'm not going to say, who you've got you've probably already seen on the internet anyway about it, and you know Harada was pissed and supposedly there was a huge argument between him and um him and Murray outside Planet Hollywood, and I there was one thing that I did notice about Harada walking around like I didn't even go up to him and say hi because like, he was in a mood and I was not gonna deal with it this week i wouldn't i wouldn't say anything to him let me just say harada baby how the fuck did you not see this coming <laughs> no, but... uh, yeah exactly i'm like you had to know fighting games have a 100 percent leak accuracy how did you not see this coming and that some jackass behind you was gonna take a picture zoom it up and put it on twitter for clout like come on if you got a full build what do you think is gonna happen He's gonna uh, power drive. What? I mean, this is just a story that I heard. I don't know if it's true or not, but I would not be surprised because Tekken Seven got leaked before it was officially announced. Yeah, like the like the quote unquote new characters have already been revealed, so or leaked. Well, yep. I think they didn't. People just I posted it myself. They just pulled it right from like the PC beta, like right. Well, no, I mean, the there was there was something else. There was um, I'm gonna write in the chat. I'm not saying it out here. Yeah, mm. there's 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 debates on certain aspects of the leak in in relation to one character, but right now it's very <laughs> on point. Can't believe they're bringing back the Velociraptor with boxing gloves. It's crazy. Well, Alex, <laughs> man, you know what? That's not part of the leak. That'd be crazy. <laughs> I uh, wish, but I like I like spreading misinformation. It's very fun. Well, of I'm course, he does. Surprised they're bringing Elisa back. I, I'm not. Am I kidding? I, Am I kidding? Who can say? I can't believe Dr. Boskanovich is coming back. It's crazy. The man with no spine. Great. Oh my god, gun is leaked. Oh wait. Never. I can't believe they leaked uh, Roger Jr. <laughs> Never. <laughs> oh, Roger ain't coming back ever. I can't, be I can't believe this is actually <laughs> going to be. Get a will be up, up Harada's ass faster than, I don't know. Well, yeah, here. Uh, up Harada's ass? Wait, <laughs> what happened? Yeah. All right, oh, let's so on to the to the Tifa DLC. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, oh yeah, the Street of Rage collaboration. This is what happened to Street Fighter Cross Tekken. They're just gonna add ten Street Fighter. <laughs> Dude, 
do. I fucking you know, hate I that they. Streets of Rage collaboration with Tekken. I think that'd be cool. I like hate. You could put Paul Phoenix in a um in a Axel in an Axel outfit. No, no, that's not the important one. You didn't fulfill the promise, Harada. Yeah, he didn't. <laughs> he never forget the promise. Never forget the promise. You had some homework, motherfucker. Oh. This is what you get. Tekken. I... Cross, get out! Get out. <laughs> that was the best. That was the best. That is never gonna happen. We were never getting the Fei Long versus Martial Law fight. One, one of we the worst close. trolls. We were thirty percent. One of the worst trolls ever. Ruined my life. Thanks. No, it was the best troll ever. <laughs> oh no! I love. I love that him and Onasan are still buddies. Uh, that makes me feel happy. It is, but at the price of the game that would have been so hype. God damn it. <laughs> hype, he says. I would have played the shit out of that. <laughs> oh, don't, like... oh, don't worry. Like Rad said, there was one particular character that we will not say. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, so, so... Might as well, Harada. Might as well announce gonna him. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Oh, someone's, yeah. Someone spoiled that for me and tagged me so I can take a look. But... Ren, I told you this beforehand. I'm, I'm not going to say it. I forget. I have yeah. the memory of a goldfish not... sometimes. I forget. Yeah, 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 and you'll keep was... forgetting until that character's announced. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's see, copy image. Hey, Ren. <laughs> It'll be a surprise. <laughs> it's Negan again. Well, <gasps> I wouldn't mind that. I actually did like Negan. I did. Negan ruled. It's the only good thing about Walking Dead. Um, we have another hype trailer that was announced. Uh, people were kind of debating graphics about which we're going to talk about, but Fatal Fury, City of the Wolves, they showed Ripley that trailer. The walls. They showed that trailer and it looks pretty good, even though uh, people said it was on the same engine as uh, King of Fighters 15. Okay. It okay. looks now, better. It looks now better. that I've watched this, now that I've watched that movie this week, the colorful style kind of reminds me of Across the Spider-Verse a little bit. Hmm. Interesting. That makes like sense. That, like... Yeah, like, like that's kind of the vision I get, but holy shit, it's happening. Holy shit, it looks better than KOF 15. And the teases of all the characters on the Southtown map has my mind going crazy. This old is Fatal Gen, Fury. This is Fatal Fury, Gen. old versus new. I am all damn over that. That, 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 that. that game might as well have the equivalent of a KOF uh, 15 roster size. Like, goddamn. Holy shit. I just, I, just have to tell, I just have to tell the me of high school that Hotaru's coming back, and yes. she finally got a new voice actress 20 years later. Maybe other chisel some gravestones in this game or no? Oh jeez. No, no. Krauser is crazy dead. Uh, Fatal Fury timeline. Uh, yes. That's he has never stopped anyone before. He has. He hasn't been back in the timeline since. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Dead. Wait a minute. What happened to the logic? Fighting game. Fighting game characters doesn't die. What happened to that? It yeah, it, 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 it 15 is. times. <laughs> Only some stay dead. I'm staying dead. Was dead. Looking yeah, at Charlie yeah. Nash. Well, if you're popular enough, you don't stay dead. He's uh -huh. is okay, Krauser that not works. popular? I think Crowder's fucking sweet. No, he's well compared to Geese, no, unfortunately. Yeah. No, oh, no. Come on. Geese is like ten times more noteworthy. True, yeah. Bring Geese. The back. man got into Tekken. Robo Geese. Well, now we can get Krauser in Tekken. <laughs> no. Can we get Krauser in Street Fighter? No, uh, I just already sent you that video, didn't I? Huh. Hold on, I'll get it up real quick. Someone wanted Kim uh, Capuan's kids to come into this game, which is highly possible, so wouldn't be surprised. I mean, hey, old versus new. Yep, <laughs> old versus new, and that would be getting the kids. Oh, no, wait, comes at Crosser is in Street Fighter 6. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't? Yeah, yes. Yeah, right there. I posted in the chat. <laughs> Hades posts the evidence. No, he's not. We, we just turn, a... we turn a blind eye. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Leg tomahawk. Let's ball. Let's ball. Oh. Outside of that, is there any other opinions on uh, the Fatal Fury coming back? More fighting games really. is always good. Yeah, I, I agree yeah, with that. I say about it. Does this mean that KOF 15 is done after this second set? 
Ooh, that hmm. remains to be seen. I do not know. I, I, I think so. says yes. I think all hands are going to be on deck for the new Fatal Fury like they were for Samurai Showdown after KOF 14. That's a possibility. You know what you got to do then, SNK? Last season of DLC. Yeah, and Lucky then... Heavy D and Brian. Let's get it done. Put it right to pasture. No. That's, that's the best they can do. Okay, so we have Mr. Johnny from Guilty Gear being announced for Strive. Any opinions on him? All I know I'll is Jojo. Jojo, Jojo Coom. Pretty excited. This Jojo man. Him in here. This man Coom. He's like this is his grand husband. So I'm oh. sh- I'm sure he's happy. I'll I'll let you go because I got a lot of things to say after the Johnny conversation. Rad, what about you? So, yeah, I will definitely keep it short and sweet that Johnny's back. He looks cool. His supers look great. He's still voiced by Norio. I feel like this was the best character to kick off season three because everyone was expecting waifu. Nobody was expecting Johnny. I agree. His moveset looks very interesting. I I do I I play with him a little bit uh in the previous Guilty Gear tournaments just for fun and I I thought he was interesting. Uh I like that he could turn people into cards and cut them in half. That's always yeah. cool to see. And is it, okay, it it goes from an instant kill to a super. A super this time around. So he just does it and this like bam, he's just done. Uh I did not play with him a lot. I was more of a Kai main, but I definitely am digging the fact that he's back. And I think there is like three more characters they're going to reveal, uh, yeah. along with the fact that, well, they obviously have to fix the online at this point because it's a broken piece of mess, but I digress. They brought, they brought uh, the most important character is going to be part of season three if they don't. Who, Biken? Hacker Man. Hacker Man? Like all, all the all the general hacking that's been going on in the PC version, many of the streamers ah. Guilty Gear have called it Hacker Man. Uh, <laughs> correction, and I can confirm this: it's happening to all platforms. That's bad. That's really bad. But no. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what's even worse: Arcs is stealing from Capcom again. Really? No. What, what's because who? we because Guilty Gear Strive is going to have drive impact. Uh, oh yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, there's two new moves and they both take 50% of your bar. Can I still say that I don't like drive impact? You really can say that? I don't I really don't. I'm I'm getting used to it though. Now now it's just sort of like if you're in a corner 99% of the time someone's gonna do it, which is where I just say fuck you. I'm countering that I know what you're gonna do uh, I will just say I know I know people could not care less about this game It's gonna be in grand blue rising as well, and it feels way more oppressive in that game Ooh. Even though it costs meter I still decked the unsuspecting people several times in the beta with it Hmm that is that's interesting but also scary at the same time because now it's just like drive impact on steroids here you go actually since uh grand blue is not in the documents let me talk about grand blue for a moment uh apparently the new grand blue that's going to come out you know not only the, the one that's going to have the rollback and you know improving the lobbies uh <laughs> strike <laughs> Uh, it's gonna have a free version, so if you want to try the game out for free, and fight people online for free, they're gonna have a free version to try out the four characters. Did they say what four characters they're gonna have? No, no. not yet, not yet. I would I just, actually assume it's... Grand, Grand, Grand is the main one, yeah. Yeah, Grand, Kata, Catalina, Gita, and the fourth one is probably, like, changes? Yeah. Like, over a period, like with Killer Instinct? I just know Grand is going to be yeah. the the character that won't change uh, if they do cycle free characters. Uh, but yeah, they're doing a free option, like that are Alive, which that's the only positive I'm going to give them so far. Also, shoutouts to Grand Blue Rising, including, and you might want to peek the mic for this, including Grand! 
Vladimir. Oh, that was such a good choice. Like, if you're going to pick the last character for your fighting game right. upgrade, go out with a bang. Go out with Grimnir. That's the character I want to play the most. What a reveal. I only played Ladiva, to be honest. Uh, I used Narmaya and eventually switched to Jita because I was tired of not being able to play the game. And now with Jita, I can totally play the game again. Hmm. Okay. Well, they were having blue, a... Blue digression over. They're having a core fighter edition, so I guess that will mean that gives me a chance to try the game on myself and see if I like it. November 30th. That is honestly closer than I thought. I thought that was a 2024 game. Mm, Jesus. That's not too far, but I guess that's not too bad, so I'll give it a shot when it comes out. But we have to get to um, second to last question on the dock. Wait, uh, before you do. All right. What I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this loud and clear, right? Arxis, it's your fucking lobbies. They, they'll try. They'll try. So are they broken between Strive and Grand Blue? No, just Strive. I'm not going to support the season three if they're going to continue with the Hackman bullshit. I'm sick of it. Ackerman is officially a character in this game now. He's yep. straight up giving yep. people. He is actively disrupting online tournaments now. <laughs> I'm sick of it, bro. Like, I'm not going to buy another Guilty Gear if this continues, man. Oh, God. Well, I, I, I will say we'll just wait until the balance update and, and their oh, whole season. No, Grand Blue better not have the same faith. Jesus Christ. I want to say it won't, but you could also never say it, never. Arx, Arx is still doing the game, so who knows? Jesus. Well, we got to move on to Project L. And uh, <laughs> Project L, what a fitting name. Uh, Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> They're having a new character, and there's there's a lot of flack in getting to this game because of how simplified it is and everything. I already said what I had to say about that game. Uh, I am... I don't I know. context, by the way. What's going on here? What's the latest lingo about this game, though? Okay. Uh, you want the game to have the simplest, no motion input fight fighter of all time? Then look, then look no further to, uh... What was that other fighting game that had that? Fantasy something. Fantasy Strike. Strike. Yeah, fa this is Fantasy Strike 2, but with fucking Leagues of, League of Legends characters. So that means it'll actually be somewhat popular, <laughs> unlike Fantasy Strike. Uh, yeah, I like Fantasy Strike. I don't. <laughs> the pandas, <laughs> the pandas, one of the most OP characters. Give me Lord. a jackpot! Oh. Jesus Christ! Well, it seems like this is the most simplified fighter of all time. I don't know. I mean, I remember when people were talking about it and and they were getting excited, but then again, that's kind of the thing that people kind of did with DNF Duel, where it's like a little bit of talk it came out and. Nothing else said about it. That so that game had more potential, but it fell yeah, off. Forget that game exists, dude. Me too. I like played that, I played it, that game too much. I really enjoyed a it. New character. I just don't. I just don't see like many people yeah. even chatting about it anymore. I just remember like, it came up and it was gone. I just couldn't get attached to a single character in that game. The best shot I had was launcher. Hmm. And she was the worst character in the game on release, which is great. <laughs> I, I played Grappler, so I feel kind of that pain, but I killed people in one combo, so it was okay. Mm -hmm. uh, with with Project L, I don't really mind them doing, like, the more simplified stuff. Like, if this is their first fighting game, and if that's the route they want to go with it, that's fine. I don't want that to happen to, like, Street Fighter, because they were talking that Modern was going to be the only thing yeah. for Street Fighter VI. Oh, no. Oh, oh my yes. Oh, no. It was, oh, yes. Thank God that's yeah. not the case. Yeah, I don't I don't want it to happen to like my my games that I've been playing since I was a kid, but this is Project L. It's it's Riot's new little thing. Let them let them do simple stuff. It's not ruining anything. No, nothing's getting desecrated. It's all cool. I think right now I know that it's I know that it's a cliche saying nowadays. I think we should let them cook. <laughs> I mean, it does. The game does look pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. Because like, it's very clear the food has been burnt over the past couple of years and they've very clearly gone back to the drawing board because this look 
they presented at Evo 2023 looks nothing like the vlog builds that we've been looking at for the past couple of years. Mm, yeah, I mean, that much I expected for them to clearly polish up the game, but I just, I don't know. I, I have a 50-50 love and affinity for, you know, simplified fighters. It's like, yeah, sometimes they can be entertaining, like Fighter Z, but other times it just feels kind of weird. That's why, yep. that's why I don't really like the modern controls too much because I just could not get used to it. Yeah, um, right. I'll just, I'll just do a quick little positive and negative bullet points thing. Positive. Many of the people who are working on the battle system and the balancing are ex Marvel gods, like Clockwork. Nerd Josh is on there. I think, I think Apology Man is, if not in the design crew, he's on the testing crew. So it's in good hands. But but that roster is going to be the most polarizing thing. Like either your favorite is there or they're not. It's it's kind of I compare this to Pokémon tournament where there are hundreds of People different Pokémon. It's there are hundreds of different Pokémon species, and you ended up with a roster of twenty. Right. Oof. I feel like I, the same thing's going to happen to League of Fighters. I think it's a question of like, because I sat down and I tried to like bang out like who I think would take up the last few slots. And I think it's mostly just going to be a question of who's the most appropriate in a fighting game, you know? Like Yasuo is the most obvious pick for a lot of reasons. It's a samurai. Yasuo actually is one of the more popular characters in the League, but um, I'm pretty confident my 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 pick will get in there. I want I'm, set in this game really bad. I play I play support, so the chances of my characters showing up are second to nil. Unless you play Brom, I think Blitz has a pretty good chance. Yeah, Blitzcrank. Yeah, Thresh, Thresh maybe. Thresh would work. He could be like the Scorpion analog of the game, or Blitz either way. But I, but I want I want full crazy. I want Nami. I want Lulu. <laughs> Lulu. I think there'll be one Yordle. I don't know if it'll be Lulu, though. Yeah. I'd bet on Poppy, personally. I want to see how they can configure Janna to be in a fighting game. A wind shitter. Oh, man. Yep. I, I only have, like, one grievance with the Yasuo trailer, as is. As, um, his super is his last breath move from League, and he doesn't say Soria Geton, which is, like, the, the big... That's the big line. That's like my favorite Yasuo line in that game too. Also, one more thing, and then I'll pass. Uh, I'll pass the buck on to someone else. How the fuck is Jinx not even in the initial Evo build? That's like releasing a Mortal Kombat beta without Scorpion. Oh wait. Oh wait. Uh, well. Okay. okay, I got my joke. Woo! I'm off the stage. <laughs> big hook. Oh, he's not. Well, actually, Ren is happy about that. Man. You know, I am happy about that. I don't, I don't really well, jive with scorpions. So. Oh, wait till the full game. Don't worry. Oh, no. Like, oh, like yeah. Jinx, I, Jinx, I so is, Jinx is literally the face of League of Legends right now after Arcane was such a smashing success, and she doesn't even sniff the starting beta roster. It's like, uh. Will she be in the full too. release? I would assume so. I don't know why she wouldn't be. Her and Vi, I'm pretty sure, are she. Well, I mean, Jinx. it's a... Jinx is an earlier build to the game, and she's that not too. in the Evo build. I mean, I mean, to be, I was gonna say, uh, the game is free to play. She might be one of those characters, like, so, Koffa, how much money are you gonna pay for her? I totally see them doing that at, at this point. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't do it with uh, Ari. Uh, the, uh, the, 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 Give them a moment. Give them a moment. Am I they jinxing it? In sandals. That's the that's the price we pay, unfortunately. Ah shit. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, if it's not the waifus, it's gonna be another like another set of characters' favorites that is gonna be like, all right, cough them up. Buff, the big buff muscly man. Oh no. Give me your money. Give me the money. League the League coming. is a franchise filled from top to bottom with sexy ass characters. You can't go wrong here. It's true. Oh, yes. It's very true. Including That's Zach. <laughs> Including Zach. <laughs> they finally gave him a pool party skin after all these years. <laughs> finally. You want to see how maddening the skins are going to get. People are going to be nothing That's over. what I want to see. Are you going to have not like imitation versions of actual fighting game characters on here? 
people gonna be nothing over their controllers like reptiles like jesus christ i mean if set shows up i'm not gonna lie is, 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 ari, is ari going to get a not a, like a not a not rose costume oh please like, i can't wait like some the costumes palettes, are what i want to see some of her palettes already reference fighting game characters so maybe i know she has a morgan color that's what i know yeah Yay. yeah I'm I'm totally fine with going the Skullgirls route of when you can't costume color it up. So last game they have here is uh, Under Night and Birth, which I've never Let's played. Go. They they have a sequel that's coming. How in I... God's name are we at two? Finally, what the hell was Unist? What the hell was Uniclear? Yeah, what was that then? I thought it was two. So confused naming convention again. Nice. If I, I, I want to know, know what makes this game feel too tastic. Uh, uh, aside uh, from that shitty character select screen, uh, we're going to find out soon. Yeah, it's definitely downgraded. It looks like every other character select screen. Boring ass vertical rectangles. Uh, I haven't seen it personally, but aside from that, though, trip or toe, I'm not necessarily interested in Undernight like that. Yeah. I tried the first one. I'm like, eh, yeah. yeah, I don't have, I don't have much faith in this one grabbing me. I couldn't get into Undernight in general. At yeah. least it still has a Kotsky. So we, uh, glory to small miracles. That, that's Akatsuki's new home at that point because they're never gonna make another Akatsuki game. All right, yeah. let's get Blitz Tank in there too. Hey, might as well. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? I'll give this game this right. It's gonna have rollback. Did they say crossplay too? I am not. Crossplay sure. is not in remember. the cards just yet. Okay, well at least they got the rollback down. Uh, fighters, uh, what are we doing, baby? Ooh, that got the lead. I forgot about that. That's right. If people did not know, uh, during Evo, well, no, before Evo was even upon us, they announced that Fighter Z will not have a. You know, they delayed the rollback even further. Which, to be fair, if you're going to announce a delay around Evo time, before Evo is the best possible chance. Because if it's during Evo, that is just PR suicide. Yep. But that being said, it's been one year, guys. What Has in it the been hiffle, a year? What in the hiffle yeah. is taking so long? It's going to be I another mean, year. I feel Wait, like they just to get drop it. a new game and just forget about DBS. That's, that's what that's what Eunice is doing. What the fuck? Drop a new game and Grand Blue. What the fuck? Samurai no. Showdown is gonna get rollback before Fighters. That's crazy. That's oh, killer instinct. They're gonna, gonna put out a new Virtua Fighter before something yeah. like that. Well, oh, okay. whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait. <laughs> for salvation. I'm not gonna lie. Yo, you know, we would bust a nut if they announced Virtua Fighter Six before Fighter C gets rolled back. <laughs> for you as guest character DLC. Man, I knew that'd be said. He he got to be somewhere. Damn it! Oh, you're no. getting a Kiryu skin for Akira. Of course, and they did that for uh, what is it, Virtual Fighter, the new one? Yeah. There was some skins from Tekken in there. Yeah. I remember that. That was crazy. Can you imagine how crazy it would be if Virtual Fighter returned the favor and let them have a Virtual Fighter character in Tekken? Be nuts. Just saying. I will say, good. You just have to budge now. Come on, live our hopes. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, budge, budge real hard. Really. Budge, budge. Yeah, it's okay. We have we have Virtue Fighter on the pipeline, so. Oh, really? Yep. Podcast. Oh. Yep. I thought maybe there was a new one coming. I was like, <gasps> if if there no, was, I, I my my screen would have been a lot more loud. I'm sorry. I just had to open my mouth, didn't I? Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, but it's time for the final question, which hold, hold on. Oh, so. Yep. There's like two more announcements that we didn't really talk about. I don't know. They're, they're not really going to be worth much talk, but um, they showed off uh, Nick All-Star Brawl 2 at this Evo. Yeah! <laughs> and um, they announced uh, Usada Pekora for Idol Showdown. Yeah. <laughs> Idol Showdown. Wow, that was some 15 minutes of fame, boy. Eh. Wait. I give him credit for just being so passionate and making that game. But yeah, they announced, a, they announced another character for I'll take... Hot take. Idol Showdown was the fighting game uh, until Street Fighter 6 come out. It, it was Nothing. the fighting game until you fought a Botan. Ooh. Oh, 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 damn. He's not Shishido, wrong. Shishido Botan. 
Did they nerf her yet? I think so. <laughs> then find nerf. If you missed it, here you go. I'll put the Bakura she is, reveal She's there. still in the game, so she's not nerfed. <laughs> no, uh, she can't do her infinite okay. combo. Okay, but uh, like down to business, Nick All-Star 2, finally with Squidward, and finally with actual mechanics. And All right. Switching. You forgot one more character, Plankton. Actually, the whole roster for that got leaked, and there's a lot of really crazy picks in there. Mega of course it Plankton. did. <laughs> Everything gets leaked. 100% accuracy. You you want to know the you want to know the really weird pick for that one? What? Mm -hmm. Arnold's grandma. How the oh, fuck does that work? Oh, that is fucking neat, bro. How does that work? She has like a, a old bag. Oh, so are you gonna like? Is she gonna change to like a bunch of different costumes? Because I know she's she's probably gonna wear the kung fu out or the karate outfit. Yeah, she can do karate. She like like Frida Turtle once. Like she's she's insane. She's got all sorts of crazy shit yeah. that she could do. But mm. it's as crazy as Arnold. We got oh. Jimmy Neutron now. And this and this is another game where you can have all the four turtles for free. Yeah, something the first game we had. Yeah. Nick, what are and you doing? And April and Shredder. They're also like really retooling a lot of the mechanics. If you go over to their like Twitter, I think they're putting out like character guides right now, and it's like big retooling from the first game. Yeah, they saw multiverses die, and they're like, "Now's our chance. Let's go!" And they just uh, went for it. Uh, and wait till multiverses come back, and they're gonna be like, "Oh, if that it's good. would be deja vu if that happened again." I'm Holy telling shit! Telling you, I'm t I'm I'm making this public now. If multiverses does not have a Mortal Kombat character in it, in that rebirth, I ain't even touching the game. If they don't, I don't know what they're doing at this point. No Scorpion yep. or Sub-Zero or Multiverse? I make the game at that point. They are insane if they don't do at that. At least, at least Sub-Zero. Yes. Well, or Scorpion. Well, one of the two. Might as well put both in. Sub-Zero no, is no, forever than Scorpion. What? He rips your head off, Chief. I don't know about that one. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. What? Okay, you know what, though? It's in first person time... POV. It's okay. Yeah. No, for advertising, though, they should do Fire God Liu Kang. Hmm. Oh, no, no. Mm. Yeah, it's going to be yeah, Summer Scorpion. Liu Kang. Liu Kang would also be acceptable. Raiden. Can I take all yeah, four of them? But uh, actually, it's usually yeah. between Sub Zero and Scorpion. So. Yeah, let me take all four of them. I, I don't mind either. Yeah, but considering Liu Kang's like the market character right now, it wouldn't be out of pocket for them to put him in into like a crossover. Mm -hmm. Plus, Fire God Liu Kang is the only thing that can stand up to Bugs Bunny. Uh, <laughs> Shaggy. And Shaggy. Super Saiyan versus Fire God. Actually, in an intro, Shaggy did Super choke out Scorpion. Super for that matter? Jesus Christ. Oh! Yeah, they might... Yeah. There's there's one thing that we we didn't talk about. I think this happened uh, uh, when oh, we were on. we were talking about this a couple of days ago. Remember the trailer with uh, Liu Kang putting the guy in the black hole? Yes, yeah, so Sub Zero. <laughs> I <ran. laughs> Yeah, that's that's the whole reason that trailer got 11 billion views. I'm pretty sure that shit was fucked up. I loved it. He yeah. was awesome. It's like, what the hell did Bihan do to piss him off that much? What? I, also, exists, there apparently. seems to be there seems to be quite the delta in Earthrealm Protector defend uh, like strength level because Raiden could just shoot lightning. Liu Kang can now make fucking black holes. Well, I remember he's a keeper at times, so he can do fucking anything he wants now. Oh, dude, plot bullshit. <laughs> re remember, someone tried to do like an online Twitter death battle, and and they put Tekken characters, Street Fighter, and Liu Kang in there. And I was just looking at that. And I'm like, do you see what he did? The Sub Zero, he like literally sank his guts out in the middle of space. I yeah, just about fire god Liu Kang, man. GG from that one. He's <laughs> the literal god, yeah. I'm like, I don't, I don't think this is a fair fight. You put Kaz but, versus Liu Kang. What's the closest never, thing never. Tekken has to a god like Ogre, maybe? No. Well, I mean, technically, yes, though, but he got bought by, you know, the Mishmas. Yeah, exactly. Yep, Ogre got pretty fucked. You might as well just put it. Man, Street Fighter I mean, they're just, more they're just devils. Like, Liu Kang is like a literal god who, like, makes people shit out their entrails into a black hole. I mean, <laughs> there's really no contest there. Yeah. I think uh, the the closest Street Fighter has is uh, Oni, right, or Kuma, because uh, did he well, fight? Quite a few heavy hitters, though. But if we want to narrow it down to like a handful, you got like Oro who competes with Okuma, you got Okuma himself or Oni. 
Mm. Gil's pretty Vulcan, close maybe. to God status. Yeah, Gil, who can just like resurrect himself so long as he doesn't, you know, get sucked into a black hole. So yeah, Street Fighter has more heavy hitters than um, Tekken does, though, but, you know, so it ain't gonna matter. I mean, if Cody gets King. out of his uh, his handcuffs, for like, forget about it, it's a wrap. Cody's a god confirmed. <laughs> Fire god, Cody. Handcuffs <laughs> 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 is just That's approaching true. levels of Kenshin if he leads with the left foot. You're just fucked. Look, here's how they handle this, would, right? Cody would be Earth God since he throws rocks. Just summon Omni. That's how you solve the MK. Present debacle. God. <laughs> And he'll just throw a pocket sand in Liu Kang's face and, like, save the entire universe. Uh, pocket sand! <laughs> Rest in peace, John Hardwick, by the way. Yeah, exactly. I need low tier god in this game. So I need... So you can say, get that ass banned. Alright. Uh, so, last little question here. We're gonna close off. I'm gonna let you guys take over for any thoughts on EVO itself, as well as Nikki being at the event and then bringing up any crazy stories. I don't think I can stay too much longer because I gotta you know, leave it soon. Oh no, that's fine. Uh, you can uh, do your outro, or you can. I, I'll special. hear Nikki out though. I'll I'll leave when I need to leave. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll just, just leave, I'll, and she can do it by herself. Yeah, I'll just add my two cents in on the Evo tournament in general and how freaky it is. How many grand finals matches were fucking mirrors? The year of mirrors. The freaking Asia's reflector came up like Tekken was a mirror. Ultimate Marvel is. Marvel MK. was a mirror. MK was definitely. MK fighters. Was definitely a mirror. Jeez, fighters too. Melty was a mirror. Well, to be fair, real quick, uh, fighters, we did get a W. USW. Go on. That's true. Yay. Yeah, yeah. Melty was also a mirror. Yeah, that was. It's, it doesn't look good, but anyone in the FGC could tell you this is just how it is sometimes. It's not. It's nothing against the game. It's about the players. Yep. Sometimes I do. I do have there. a gripe. I do have a gripe with people taking the ZMC Grand Finals and saying, and just saying, you know, this is why Marvel died. You know, <laughs> completely ignoring that ZMC isn't even one of the strongest elements of Marvel. Morgan's right there. Phoenix Me is right there. Morgan does take significantly more execution to do properly though like like zmc doesn't yeah yeah i'm not i'm not saying like neither of these take a ridiculous amount of execution i think that's the thing that people don't really appreciate about like high level marvel is zmc probably the best team comp in the game but takes about 500 hours of practice to even be halfway decent at it yep and i'd rather watch 500 fucking zmc mirrors than Watch Happy Chaos play once. I'm just saying. Happy at Chaos. Least, at least Guilty Gear wasn't a mirror. Yeah, but it had Happy Chaos, so. Yeah, but <laughs> it it, no it, it doesn't look good. I'm just a little, little, little perturbed that people are taking opportunities to dunk on innocent and honestly good fighting games. Well, and maybe next year we'll have uh, more liberties to see less mirrors because there's going to be like three evos from what I saw. Uh, yeah. Think... Okay. So, what do you think the third one's gonna be? Obviously, you're up. China. You, 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 China. China? <laughs> I say, Evo Mexico. Really not. Good. Get KOF more Latin, representative. Latin America yeah, would really... make sense. I'll say I'm leaning more towards Europe. Yeah. I'd yeah. probably pick Europe too if I had to pick, or China, but I think Latin America yeah. would be a good choice. We get why China? China? <laughs> yeah, why China? Big, 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 big country, lots of players, man. Yeah, it's a big country, though, but I'm pretty sure there's more players outside of China. <laughs> China banned video games. How's that going to work? You get your oh, yeah. head chopped they off. They banned Femboys, like... never mind. <laughs> Fuck China. There you go. <laughs> Well, I, Latin America would be an interesting choice, though, because, like, there's really big Mortal Kombat and King of Fighters fan bases there. Bring, particularly the classics. Bring back Evo East. <laughs> let's, East. Get, let's get an Evo in downtown New York. Let's get, you let's get an Evo for every region in the U.S. Bro, Evo New York? Well, I'll be there. Evo Midwest, Evo Great Lakes. Yo, I would go. love an East Coast like, Evo so we don't like have to fly Frontier again and go over e there. No, Evo in Madison Square Garden. Just go all out. Yeah, they, Evo oh, that's Madagascar. What six is going to be. <laughs> Evo Madagascar? Who's going to be like a movie? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Someone said Madagascar? Oh, no. Yeah, Evo Madagascar. Let's go. 
Yeah. But Nikki, uh, I'm sure you have more of your experience at Evo. Will, will you be going next year? Oh yeah, definitely. I'm gonna if I if I can, you know, have time for it. Yeah, I'm planning on it. Yeah, because the fact that they have three of them is crazy. I, I think it might be EU that that they might be gunning for, but uh, right. Evo Japan, all that fun stuff. It's gonna be a, a lot more offered there, and of course, everything this year was interesting, despite all the mirror matches. I I did enjoy it for what it was, peeking in and seeing those crazy ass hype moments. That's what it was all about: the thrill of fighting games and enjoying. And, and Iron Fist did make top six in Marvel Three. That's all I'm saying too. I think I missed like half of the Marvel Three stuff, but uh, uh, Spartan Throne played Iron Fist as his anchor, and that shit was so hype. He eliminated Ryan LV from the tournament. I was like, "Yo, let's go!" Now the only MVC I know of is the MVC mod. I I did see that trending though. Zero may cry, so I I figure they're gonna pick that team, of course. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pick Wesker may cry. That's a lot more adverse, or. I don't know, Team Resident Evil, but I doubt it, because Jill sucks. Oh, well. Yeah, you, you can get a solid team out of uh, Chris Wesker Nemesis, though. Just saying. Yes, you can. Nemesis is just a big-ass tank sometimes. But I think that's about it for this pod, unless anyone else had any final things to say. Go yeah, ahead. I could say some more about Evo, honestly. Oh, go like, ahead. Yeah, so I my main goal of that was just not coming to last place and at least getting one victory, which I did succeed in. I got I went one and two, so I'm I'm satisfied with that. Uh, did you play my in like any of tough. the really small tournaments, by the way? Um, did you play in like any like the smaller tournaments, by the way, that they always have going? No, on? no. Um, I mainly just kind of walked around the um, the gallery area. Um, I went shopping for merchandise. I waited in line to play Mortal Kombat One. Um, and then I did my matches, and actually, I did make someone cry playing MK1, and <laughs> that was fun. I said, what, you beat him? Yeah, oh my god, dude, I beat him, I kicked the shit out of him, and then I did a uh, fatality, and I don't know what the hell made him suddenly start to cry. Then I left to a girl, left to a girl, and, you know. You're not mentioning she did this in real life, not in Mortal Kombat. Yeah, you ripped out his spine, and you just made him feel sorry for himself. Yeah, I worked out his guts and did jump rope with it. Oh, Jesus. It was great. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Very violent. I love it, though. Uh, so what else was there? Um, um, I tried to go to the Tekken after party at the at the nightclub across the street. Couldn't get in because dress code. Um, um, yeah, it was, you know, I, I, I saw a live feed. It, there wasn't really a lot of people there, so it was fine. Um. I was playing mandatory. You have to dress as Eddie Gordo and go on the dance. No, floor. no. Apparently, I was wearing sandals. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's what they got on people. As a black years. tie gala. Okay, us Tekken players are very elite. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, I was wearing sandals. Um, and I really didn't feel like going back to my hotel room, which was like further down the line, um, further up the strip, um, or further down the strip, I should say. Um, but. You know, depending on if Psycho Las Vegas becomes a thing again, I might. I'm going to try to go to Evo because it's not like I can make like two Vegas trips within a span of, of six weeks. But um, but we'll see. I mean, I, I, I we'll talk about Psycho Las Vegas later. It's completely irrelevant to this podcast. It's a, I had fun when I went last year to that, but it's a very shitty festival, very poorly run and I'll probably not go again. But it really depends oh. on who they get. Um. But anyway, uh, now that Evo is going to be a week before, because what happened was there was another, um, um, there's another convention in another part of Mandalay Bay, so it was kind of um, overlapping with Evo, that. right? It was something called a uh, like Black Hat. It was a cybersecurity uh, convention, so they actually took up more space than Evo did, and um, but still, it was fun. Um, you know, I always thought it was not exactly a myth when people say, like, oh, a lot of these gamers don't bathe or they don't, you know, wear deodorant. Oh, no, it's true. You walk through that and you're walking through, like, I, I don't even know how to describe it. B.O., crotch smell, people farting Ugh. all over the place. Like, the wall of smell. I'm sitting there. At, it. Damn, yeah, so I'm they're sitting taking notes from, from the Smash community. Got it. Right. Yeah. I'm sitting there doing my. Um, mm hmm. I guess, yeah, because I'm doing my my um my battles. And there's someone freaking crop dusting behind me. I'm like, yo, what the hell? 
I'm like, I'm like all right. Well, well, well that alone is Rob. If I go, that alone is probably <laughs> why I will never go to one of those conventions. Like, bro. Own sponsor Chipotle sponsor An anime, anime convention. I mean, I went the party been... stories I can't really tell, but those yeah. are, I will say. Oh, hold on, I actually, I won. So I won more money than I did, or I won more money gambling than I did playing Street Fighter. So yeah. how much? Um, if you remember, <laughs> let's just say it's enough for a PS5. Let's say it's enough for three PS5s. Oh, oh that's cool. Oh. Well, that's, <laughs> that's very... a lot of money. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, you're set yes, for a PS5. Um, huh? I say you're set for a PS5. <laughs> I'm set for at least like four, like three or four. Shit. You're but I do have this... to pay off. Sorry. Huh? Uh, how much did this trip cost you in general? Because that's the one thing that kind of puts me off of uh, going to Evo is the money. I know Vegas is not a cheap place, so. It's not. Um, considering um, my brother's line of work, it was um, a lot of my um expenses were discounted at at evo so um my experience would be a little bit different from anyone else's um i know i paid i think it was 250 for my uh for my evo pass i paid for me and my brother and uh i got some of the extras you know um i think like i'm sorry <laughs> excuse me Pleasure. um yeah thank you <laughs> thank you okay. so I paid for like a, sh um, I think I got a shirt and I got like a custom made badge that was maybe about an extra thirty. Um, and considering with all the gambling, I ended up getting my money back. But I think altogether, maybe I spent about maybe altogether it was about um eight hundred. Good to know. That's not god awful. <laughs> no. No. Not no. I mean, like I say, because of you know certain discounts some prices might be different for other people but altogether no it wasn't excuse me it wasn't all that bad that's the um, one thing i do want to do before that's like my one my pilgrimage i want to make at least one time in my life let me ask you I something real to try quick. evo at least once if they get the chance let me ask you something real quick nikki how uh, mm -hmm. how was the bathroom over there was it crowded because they got sponsored by chipotle um, you know what? Honestly, I can't even say because the way how they separated the men's and women's bathrooms right. was like very interesting. They had the women's bathroom on one side of the wall, and then they had the men's bathroom all the way on the other side of the wall. So Jesus, or the other side of the room, I should say. So they were separated by like the whole gigantic room. The bathroom lines aren't too bad since they let the melty players out. <laughs> right. Yeah. What about main stage now. <laughs> What are you talking about? There, there's always room for in prison. The melty people. Oh, they have to choose there too. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, they got their fancy laptops on top of the toilet. All right, though, but we're gonna sign off for this podcast and we'll do our little outros. Uh, I'm gonna let Brandon go first since he has to go. So, Brandon, where can we find you, buddy? Um, you can find me on Twitter at Immortal Brando. I have a link to it linked somewhere in my bio. Check it out. All those um, affiliations. And uh, go fuck yourself. All right, <laughs> nice manners. And Nikki, where can we find you? You can only find me on X and YouTube at Google Order. The X can't get used to that anymore. Jesus Christ. Rat, rat. Uh, for sex, honestly. Oh, I, I can fuck it up even more. You can find me on Twixter at the Rad Rad, <laughs> and you can find my YouTube channel, Rad Rad's Rad Games, where I'm playing through the Mortal Kombat series leading up to Mortal Kombat 1. I'm finally free of Mortal Kombat 3, and I'm starting Mortal Kombat 4 this week. I'm kind of nervous, but at the same time, especially excited. Oh, you'll be fine, man. Just wait till you get to, uh... One of the bosses in the later games. That's a doozy, especially Moloch. All right, Nikki, where can we find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter. Um, oh, wait, they don't call it Twitter anymore. It's X. Um, X videos. Oh, God, that makes me sound like a porn star. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, what you can find me... Twixter. <laughs> you can find me on Twixter, uh, New York Catatonic. Um, you can also find me on Twitch and New York Catatonic and YouTube. Um, New York Catatonic Gaming, which I will be um, 
updating soon enough as soon as i get the motivation to actually bring all my um gaming stuff upstairs where my ps3 is connected where i want to start up um mk9 mk x mk11 on the road to mk1 so also and i was joking about my age earlier i'm immortal i don't have a, a set age okay she, okay she's a time she's lord 48 gotta sell the gimmick yeah i am mm-hmm. not 48 years old okay are you um hades our signature grandpa where can we find you yeah. uh twitter or whatever the fuck you want to call it at hades underscore manticore i have a twitch channel i haven't streamed on it in a year but it's just hades manticore youtube city state manticore still on my grind for the worst fighting game of all time and i've started doing a new series called down to the dumpster tier where i talk about bad moves and bad characters in fighting games all right and you can find me on youtube renegade operative uh x videos or x or whatever the hell it's called at ren underscore well not underscore fuck ren operative underscore uh x videos is getting to me now so i keep forgetting uh, i will be working on some stream stuff since i'm on the road to 500 followers oh, he won't. so yes well, from <laughs> x videos uh so you I'll find me at x you can find what, what the god damn it well i set myself up for that one uh, i'll take it anyway i'll be working on videos streams all that good I stuff you are taking it where you find motherfucker i knew you'd say that <laughs> you're an asshole you're an asshole <laughs> but yeah that's where you'll find my content on youtube not x videos and oh no that's a lie stop lying to the fans on, man on youtube where it's all nice family fun all right, so we're signing out. Next, Buster Wolf is Virtual Fighter. Uh, very excited, and plus, I never played Virtual Fighter three, so I'm gonna get on that and see how that game is before that podcast. So, we will see you guys later. It's been an experience, and can't wait until there's like three Evos next year. Should be very exciting. See you later. You Your are all mode. free now. <laughs>